Yes, is that... Are you think? Yes. Okay. Hey there. Hello. Day seven. All done. All done. So today was our last day in Osaka and our first day in Kyoto. Mm -hmm. Kyoto is 20-something miles north of Osaka. Mm -hmm. So it was a little bit of a train ride to get there. That's fine. It was, what, half an hour? We switched trains a couple times, but we're getting pretty good at the Japanese subway system, if I do say so myself. Yeah, it's, yeah, we're getting pretty fluent at it, and I think the reason was so that we could take advantage of our JR Rail Pass, mm -hmm. which essentially is a, JR is a, is the Japanese railroad company. It's one of the railroad companies here in Japan, and they offer a pass, which we got a two-week pass for, and so any, for the f full two weeks, any JR line we can use for, quote-unquote, free, since we bought the pass. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. So we got to use mostly JR, uh, JR lines today. After a relaxing morning, we didn't do much up until we left uh, Osaka. Yeah, we left around we left around ten thirty, mm -hmm. and we got to here in Kyoto around twelve or one. No, got here 12 around thirty or so. Yeah, so closer to one. And so then after that, we ch um, a lot of Japanese hotels are very nice, and they let you check your bags in early. So that you can come back if you get here before the check-in time, which is at, which is at three o'clock today. They let they hold onto your luggage, mm -hmm. and then you can walk around and do stuff until it's check-in time, which we did. Uh, we pretty much just explored the downtown area of Kyoto where we're staying at. Um, some we local went to Nishiki Market, which is a pretty famous market actually. Yeah. Uh, so it was it's humongous. Um, it must have been miles long to get all together. It's not just one street. It's just it's multiple streets of different like homemade goods, and then there was a fish street like a, where they have seafood mostly, and like desserts and other kinds of candy and stuff. And then there's more of the uh, commercial side where it's like more uh, I guess well known brands. Like we saw a lot of Patagonia stores. Yeah, a lot of like clothing boutiques and. Mm -hmm little food shops and some grocery outlets too mm -hmm. it's pretty cool um the city brochure says seven kilometers total distance of it's shops but yeah it's, it's probably more than that yeah seven kilometers is a little more than like three and a half or four miles i feel like we would know better in the city too so yeah so that was pretty cool um we then after that we checked in our bags real quick and then got out to go head over to the kyoto imperial palace yeah. which i guess was closed yeah unfortunately it was closed today but we did get to walk the grounds, and we actually counted the pace. This we paced out how long it is. I forgot the exact it's number. Like around a quarter mile. It was like six hundred nine paces. Yeah. So. So it was. It's just one of the imperial palaces was that the grounds were that long, and so this park holds two of those plus a lot more land. So this park just right smack dab in the middle of Kyoto is humongous and it's actually a really nice place to kind of hang out and it looks like to bike through and it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's people playing softball, people um, mm -hmm. playing tennis and then some people having a picnic and then here are these giant, you know, thousands of year old imperial palaces. Mm -hmm. It's really cool that, you know, again, just the historical part of Japan just being right here in the middle of the city and then other kind of modern day stuff happening. So hopefully we can get to those while it's open probably on our one of our last days here yeah uh, we really only have um, we have two full days here yeah all right never mind we'll get we'll get there while it's open um or else yeah exactly and then we kind of made a big loop down and we kind of walked just for a while right yeah following the theme of things being closed for the day we were going to a oh, yeah. gyoza and uh gyoza and beer bar but it was closed, um, and according to our Google Translator, it's because someone got bit by a mosquito and he is infected with something. So, you know, prayers and thoughts. Uh, hope he's doing all right. But it's a little selfish that you closed your beer and gyoza. Yeah, place. you are a giant jerk. And <laughs> But it's okay, because we found some very good all-you-can-eat yakiniku, which apparently only had 3.7 stars on Yelp, but was very good. Um... And even the people next to us apparently ordered too much food, and they had the highest 
grade of buffet or all you can eat and they gave us some of their steak and some of their pork belly so here we are eating the lowest grade yeah quote which was still very good which was still delicious and then yeah these very generous chinese tourists gave us their high quality beef and pork so you know of course dossier or thank you very much in mandarin we'll take that anytime you give it to us um so then after that, we walked around a little bit, and then we got some more, uh, we got some dessert from the local 7-Eleven. Uh, I got some sort of like waffle ice cream sandwich. It was huge, it was probably about that big. Then I got like a little popsicle. That was not so huge, that was like this big. Yeah, it was like strawberry and vanilla. It was still very good though. It was really good. Mm -hmm. um, the convenience stores here have a lot of things that you wouldn't expect them to, but it's very convenient and food's good, so. Um, and then following the theme of walking around, we walk around some more. And uh, that's our first day right there. It's kind of our first day. Um, we, it seems like a theme on our first day in places is kind of just to walk around and get lost. We'll quote unquote get lost, get lost somewhere. And just kind of see what there is around our hotel. And I think it's really nice to be able to stay close to Nishiki Market like this because it's a good mix of food as well as like shops to look around at and kind of get the, I like the feel of Kyoto I think better than Osaka, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, it's been a blast. So that's day seven, and I uh, hope we see you tomorrow for day eight. Jenna.